some of the vice president's proposals could benefit NVIDIA, while others might have a negative impact. NVIDIA's NVDA 1.69% stock price has surged over 800% during Kamala Harris's time as vice president of the United States. This increase is greater than the stock's performance during Donald Trump's presidency. It's also higher than the returns achieved in any of the four-year terms of Barack Obama or George W. Bush. Of course, Kamala Harris doesn't set government policies as vice president, nor did she ignite the AI boom that boosted NVIDIA, which was triggered by the public release of ChatGPT in 2022. However, if she wins the presidential election against Donald Trump in November, things could change. Could NVIDIA's stock soar even higher if Kamala Harris becomes president? Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Harris's Key Relevant Policies Harris has introduced several major economic policies since becoming the Democratic presidential nominee. She aims to reduce taxes for working Americans. The vice president also plans to lower the cost of food and groceries, partly by addressing corporate price gouging. Harris proposes strengthening the Affordable Care Act, also known as Obamacare. She also intends to tackle the U.S. housing shortage by offering incentives and tax credits. While none of these proposals directly impact NVIDIA, Harris has suggested policies that could have some effect on the company. It's important to note that presidents must collaborate with others to implement their plans, so no campaign promise or policy is guaranteed to happen. One key proposal from Harris is to increase the corporate tax rate from 21% to 28%. This would reverse some of the tax cuts that were passed during the Trump administration, but would still leave the corporate tax rate lower than it has been historically. Additionally, she has suggested increasing the tax rate on corporate stock buybacks by four times its current level. Harris has announced her plan to introduce new tax credits aimed at supporting key industries of the future. These tax credits will help with projects like building new data centers for artificial intelligence, AI, and revitalizing the semiconductor industry in the United States. She also intends to maintain the AI executive order that President Joe Biden signed which includes important measures to ensure the safety and security of AI technology. How these policies could impact NVIDIA. At first glance, you might think raising the corporate tax rate to 28% could negatively affect NVIDIA. However, that isn't necessarily true. The table below shows NVIDIA's effective tax rate over the last four years. While the proposed corporate tax rate increase might impact NVIDIA, the company's effective tax rate has been much lower than the 21% corporate tax rate that was in place when Trump was president. As seen in the table, NVIDIA has effectively used the tax code to its advantage, maintaining a lower tax rate than the standard corporate rate. It's possible NVIDIA will continue to manage this effectively under a Harris administration. One area where Harris's plan might affect NVIDIA is in stock buybacks. Harris has proposed quadrupling the tax rate on stock buybacks, which could lead NVIDIA to rethink how it allocates capital. Last fiscal year, NVIDIA spent $9.7 billion on share repurchases and bought back nearly $14.9 billion worth of shares in the first half of this fiscal year. If the proposed tax increase goes into effect, NVIDIA might choose to allocate more money towards funding dividends or reinvesting in its business, rather than repurchasing shares. However, the overall impact of higher taxes on stock buybacks may not significantly affect NVIDIA's business. While buybacks can increase the price of existing shares by reducing the total share count, investors could still benefit if NVIDIA decides to boost dividend payouts or grow its business faster by reinvesting more in itself. Finally, Harris's proposal includes tax credits to support building AI data centers and boosting the U.S. semiconductor industry. These tax credits could benefit NVIDIA to some extent, but specific dollar amounts have not been provided. 
Without these details, it's hard to evaluate how much of an impact this policy could have on NVIDIA. Could NVIDIA stocks soar if Harris becomes president? Let's revisit our original question. Could NVIDIA's stock surge if Harris is elected president? The answer is yes. NVIDIA's stock could indeed rise during a Harris administration. However, it wouldn't necessarily be due to any specific policies Harris might introduce. At this point, none of Harris's proposed policies appear to significantly impact NVIDIA's business. Additionally, even if she is elected, she'd still need enough support in Congress to put her plans into action. Every president faces the challenge of getting legislators on board with their approach. Sometimes they succeed, and sometimes they don't. NVIDIA's success depends much more on the demand for its GPUs than on government policies. Regardless of who holds the presidency, I believe this demand will remain strong for the foreseeable future. If that's the case, NVIDIA stock could indeed climb if Harris is elected. However, I wouldn't expect NVIDIA's share price to skyrocket as much as it did during her time as vice president. Achieving a 9x return in four years is a tall order for any company, especially one with a market cap nearing $3 trillion. Give us a like if you like our video, subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.